Good evening. Appreciate you guys sticking around, and uh, certainly appreciate our fans weathering an initial right lightning delay or whatnot, because they made it fun. They made it fun out there. Played a lot of guys tonight, and uh, played a you know pretty pretty solid brand of football. Certainly uh, proud of the way our defensive guys came out and put a lot of pressure on their offense and got us some really good field position early. Didn't capitalize all the time, but did put a couple good drives together. Um, stuttered down there and stumbled a little bit in the red zone. Um, and then they got back and, and got themselves a field goal. But that, that one field goal before halftime brought a lot of momentum. It's a really good job by the offense putting that together. And then the second half just started methodically taking over the football game. Um, proud of the offense and defensive lines. Felt they controlled the line of scrimmage for the majority of the game. Uh, they make it difficult with their angles, with their leverage, with their numbers in the run game. And they sure bring a lot of pressure. And our guys did a decent job with defensive line, put a ton of pressure on their guys. So that being said, questions. Mario, the, uh, the seven-man uh, blocking schemes up front on offense was not something you guys had shown last year. And I don't know that Shannon did that in Houston. Was that like a crystal ball wrinkle for some power um, football? We had shown them last year was just different body types executing them so they, they didn't look as clean. You know, we're a little bit bigger up front. Um, you know, some of the wrinkles, I mean, it's a little bit of everybody. You know, Shannon Dawson has done a lot of offense in his life, you know, and certainly he, uh, and we have some things that we've done before as well. So it's a really good blend. Uh, but all in all, it's, it looks a little bit different, but there's there's some similarities there. And Mario, that, yeah. Obviously, there's going to be mistakes to correct from every game, mm -hmm. but considering this is the first one, you don't know how it's going to go until you get out there. Just, you know, did, did it go kind of like you, you thought it, it should go tonight? Well, I, I figured they were going to be tough to run the ball against. Right. Again, because, you know, you watch them play Kentucky, they held Kentucky to 50 yards rushing. They made it difficult to score. And they've got a big offensive line over there. Um, so we felt that, you know, it'd, it'd be a physical battle and you had to just keep wearing on them. The defense was going to have to make some stops. The penalty to prevent us from, from scoring down the red zone was a monster penalty. Uh, certainly gave them some life and put three points on the board for them and gave them hope. Um, but after that, it felt like we started taking control of the game finally. We had some opportunities early and we didn't. So it was good to see our team respond and, and start, you know, making enough plays moving the sticks enough, making enough stops to start taking control again. Mario, I think all four of the running backs, I think, had nine carries, maybe Don had eight. I mean, then uh, racked up 250 yards total. Just what did you see from the four running backs uh, and what they all showed tonight? Well, it's kind of Tim, what Tim Harris was talking about all week. They, they've all been competing, and they've been competing hard. And it was hard to tell who was separating. And then you, you probably saw some of that tonight. Whoa, you know, Henry really looks good there. Look at Don's run at the end. and. And AJ comes out and breaks that run off to the side. And wait a second, Mark Fletcher's, you know, rumbling over some people for a touchdown. So it's it's the way it should be. Well, Miami's been really good. You remember those running back rooms, right? What they were like with Edgar James and Najee Davenport and James Jackson. And then, right, the next wave came McGahee and Portis and Frank Gore. We know what those look like. So um, I'm not saying we're there yet, but I'm saying that that type of competition we benefit a lot from it, and we intend to keep that competition going. How do you feel like Tyler performed today, and how big was that early explosive to build some confidence? You know, I thought he performed really well. You know, he'd love to have the interception back. He's really hard on himself. He was really efficient. He put us in the right plays, made the right decisions in the run game as well. Um, he carries a lot when you run this offense. There's a lot of autonomy that goes with it, and uh, I thought he did a great, great job. Hey Mario, I know that you coach these guys hard to get a coaching moment with that 15 yard unsportsmanlike penalty. So is that something that you look at once in a while and say, hey, you know what, we played a great game, the game was ever. No, done. I think it's unacceptable. I don't think you ever go back to that stuff. It's this what 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 does it do? Right. right? We're not we don't we don't want to revert to that if we you know, no. There's no place for that. I'm not mad at you. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I understand. You just, you just got me mad at that. So, sorry. It's just like you say, that coaching moment for the team for the next week. Yeah, I'm going to coach his butt all the way home. I promise you that. <laughs> okay, thank you. Mario, okay. defensively with, with Lance Gidry, it seemed like there were not many Emmys today. Like it, everybody was sort of on top of their function. What did you see from the defense? Aggressive. Uh, I saw a team that played fast. I thought I saw a team that played um, to their training. I would say, since January, you know, a commitment to increasing our level of physicality and speed, being able to close in the ball and ball carriers, being able to work edges in the pass rush game, being able to play with a little bit more power. And then uh, Coach Kidry, again, you know, you know I, how highly we think of him 
being able to put together. But if you watch film with him, he's not going to be completely happy. He's going to find a lot of stuff to fix. But he is going to be happy with the effort. He is going to be, I would say, enthused and encouraged by the progress of this defense and some of the things that we can get better at. So uh, all in all, a solid performance. But certainly, we uh, there's a lot of room for improvement. And we, we recognize that as we walk off the field. Mario, you, guys, you said, uh, I think on Monday, that you know you wanted to see how the freshmen kind of reacted their first time under the lights. A lot of them got playing time tonight. What, what was your, your view on them? They, you know, they don't look like normal freshmen. Um, it's what we thought. You know, I was just messing with Francis. It's like uh, last year, Francis, we were doing goal line, D line warm ups before the game, and you're on the side. I'm thinking, man, how can I get this guy in pads so he could play? We just had a wait a year, and uh, you know, a, just a, a massive difference um, up front. Jay Young, you know, um, Matt Lee, Jalen Rivers just is playing at a really, really high level. And as Cooper keeps getting better, Cam McCormick can't understate uh, the value, you know, that he brings to this football team. And then on the defensive line, you know, they're, uh, even though he's mad at Leonard Taylor, he, he really, he's playing at a high level. And he's going to have a great season. And so is uh, Mesador and so is Branson Dean. So um, there's, those guys aren't freshmen, I get it. But Damari, I thought Damari played really well. That's a tough catch to prevent. Mark Fletcher didn't flinch, right? Got a chance, got in there, made some stuff happen. Ray Ray only got one touch, but Ray Ray's going to be a bigger part of this offense because he deserves to be. And uh, he's a really good player. He's made a lot of plays. Um, who else? Well, you know, you, you, Francis, it's hard to think of him as a freshman, but he is. Riley Williams got in there, made some plays. I saw Jaden Wayne get in there. I saw Popo get in there. Um, Robbie Emery, and we looked really good. So I think we played 60. Guys, 60 plus guys, so we intend to keep playing guys. Mario, uh, Emery Williams, I, I, we weren't sure he was going to be the number two quarterback. I mean, mm -hmm. is he the backup quarterback, I guess? I For guess. today. Why did you play him first? He deserved it. Okay. Coach, what was your message to the team after this win, and how long do you guys celebrate this knowing what's ahead for next Saturday? Uh, congratulations. You know, happy uh, that a lot of work went into this and it showed up on the field. That being said, that, you know, you always, you, you have to congratulate people when they're winning is hard. All right, you look across the country, man, it's, it's you can't take it for granted. And I'm, I'm really, really happy for them and the victory. And I'm also happy that they all acknowledge that we can be a lot better. You know, that's a sign of a good football team. I, you know, I don't want to understate the, you know, Kiko, you know, Francisco, I know the way he played tonight, what he brought to the table. I mean, that guy, wow, right? Game changer. But uh, even he, you know, on the way off the field, saying we could be a lot better. We could fix a lot of stuff. You know, we got to prevent. He pointed out about four or five different things. So uh, all in all, just, again, solid performance, a lot to uh, to work on and grow upon. Mario, uh, last question. Elijah was held out today. Was that just a, is that a new thing? Is that lingering from his leg injury from last year? Or is that just like a precautionary thing? Well, he just, he wasn't quite ready. Um, I mean, it's, you really want to protect the guy to the best of your ability, you know, and he's right there. He's right on the cusp and we're, trust me, we want him in and he wants to be in. We're really close. It's just not, it's just not there yet. Hopefully next week. Okay. Okay guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.